of urban planning. We will learn all the basic concepts that governs the planning in layman terms. We will cover basics of planning, its evolution, objectives and necessity in general. Planning is a very general word, which means to note the steps prior action. Everyone in the world is doing planning in one or the other way. So, planning is all about the systematic sequence of actions for doing or achieving the goal. Specifically dealing with urban planning, it is all about spatial aspects. Urban planning is known by various terms in various countries like town planning, city planning, community planning, regional planning and simply by planning too. Urban growth or development is man's most civilized creation. The urban planning is the art and science of ordering the use of land and setting of buildings and communication routes so as to secure the maximum degree of economy, convenience, and beauty. Science governs the collection, correlation and analyzing of data while arts governs the design, modeling, and building. This schematic show the flow of activities in and out of urban area. The water, food, energy and resources are input for any urban area while pollution and leftovers acts as output. The transport, migration, trade, knowledge, lifestyle tourism, etc. aspects act as transitional in nature. In a sense, God made the country and man made the towns. These are the aspects of planning on which the planning revolves. First is physical aspect which deals with the built environment. Second is social, deals with the interrelationship and behavior with surrounding. Third is cultural, deals with the spiritual environment of any areas. Fourth is economic, dealing with the financial environment. Fifth is political, dealing with the ideological environment that ensures stability of area. Sixth and last is ecological, deals with the national environment around the area. Hence, planning is a multi-sectoral and multi-dimensional thing to exist. Planning is evolved since ancient times. But, it progressed very slowly as earlier phase and fast and later. The general evolution of planning is characterized by simple three-step approach from civilization culture to agricultural societies to urban societies. Early human groups settled by 6000 to 3000 BC they characterized as ancient cities which serves the trade and economic activities with residential space in ancient times. Some of examples are, Mohenjo-daro and Harappa in Indus Valley in Egypt, etc. Then the settlers routed for agriculture activities and settled around the water resource areas. Example is Ganga Plain regions of India. Lastly, the Western culture and industrialization led to emerge the new town as a combination of earlier phases to emigre new town to serve the changed conditions. Such new town termed as urban societies in modern era. Thus, evolution of planning is very simple precise in terms by complex in its character. Some of essential objectives of planning are 1. Convenience, to understand the form of various economic, social and recreational amenities. 2. Beauty, to take most possible advantage of natural conditions surrounding. 3. Environment, molded with least amount of strains. 4. Health, right use of land for right purpose. 5. Economy, consider the economic value of land. Is the planning really necessary for us? Yes, of course. Some of necessities are as follows. Comfort and convenience to public. To avoid uneven and chaotic development, contrasting urban scenario. Efficient and effective use of land. Balance the springing land uses. Ensure environment which is functional, efficient, healthy and aesthetically satisfying for human activity. Lastly, if you plan cities for cars and traffic, you will get cars and traffic. If you plot for people and places, you get people and places by- You need to like this video, subscribe to our channel, turn on notifications and comment below which gift you would like.